Um, I don't know. It's one of those things where, you, like, you never know when your opportunity is going to come, and all you can do is go out there and literally just do your best. I know it sounds cliche, and like that's all you can do. Like we're going out there today. Um, tough opponent, um, and the message is just do your job because what, the guys that we have in here, and the you know the the players, the staff, like it's we're good enough. That's really been the message all year. Just do your job. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know, Dan talks about it all the time. Like this, this team was built a certain way for a reason, and and everybody that's in this locker room was like hand selected to be here. Um, so it's just a special group. It's a special group. Three years ago to the day, Dan Campbell made a couple promises of what this team would look like under him. He said Ford Field would be so loud you couldn't hear it. He said this team would be something that the city would be proud of. To be inside the locker room, inside the walls of that process, what is it like? You've been through it before Dan Campbell got here. Um, I mean, I would say first and foremost, to make a change like we have, it has to start at the top. And you have to have a leader that goes about things the right way. Um, man, he's just a genuine person and we trust him and we love him. Um, and there's like the clips from Hard Knocks or something where he said, Guys, just trust me. Like, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to put you guys in the best position possible. Like, I'm not crazy. Just trust me and just follow the plan. And um, that's what we've done. And, and we believe we believe in each other. We believe in our coaches. Um, and it's turned into something pretty. You said, you said these dark times made these times sweeter. Go back to the dark times. If you were told you would be one win away from the Super Bowl with this Lions team, would you have believed it? I would have hoped for it, because um, that's what you—that's what you're working for. You're working for those opportunities to play in big games. I even said it to, or Frank said it to me when we got up in the locker room. He's like, "Dude, we're we're playing in the NFC Championship. Like, of course we always work for this and work towards this, but like it's it's here and it's real, um, and it's kind of surreal in, in that sense."